From the minute his term as governor of Maryland ended, political wonks wondered, what's next for Larry Hogan? He spent some of that time working with the group No Labels, and then, preva- and then the prevailing thought that maybe he could lead, be a part of, somehow be involved with a third-party presidential run. But he recently quit No Labels, the board, and today he made a big announcement. I have made the decision to run for the United States Senate. The former governor throwing his hat in the ring ahead of the 2024 elections in November, and he is a heavyweight. Hogan, a popular former governor, a moderate Republican that won a state that tends to lean left. And though he's no longer part of the group No Labels, he is still parroting some of that same middle-of-the-road rhetoric saying he plans... Not to serve one party, but to try to be part of the solution to fix our nation's broken politics and fight for Maryland. That's exactly what I did as your governor, and it's exactly how I'll serve you in the United States Senate. Let's get back to work. Today in Ocean City, Coast TV was on the street, gathering reaction from potential voters here along the coast. I think he did a pretty good job as as the governor, and I think he'll do a great job as uh, um, as, as, as a senator. He might be good for the Senate. Because with Maryland, as you see now, you know, we go back and forth between Democrats and Republicans, you know, with split uh, legislature executive, and, you know, we're not always on the same page. Hogan now joins a crowded Republican field along seven other announced candidates, though clearly the former governor will have the highest name ID in that group. As for the Democrats running, the field is even bigger. Ten people have already announced And when you combine that number with Hogan and the other Republicans, 18 hopefuls are running to fill the seat being vacated by Senator Ben Cardin. And here are two last points to consider. Maryland has not elected a Republican senator since all the way back in 1980. Also, through his time with no labels and on a number of television appearances, former Governor Hogan has been critical of former President Trump. And I think we've got to move on from the cult of Donald Trump and return to the basic principles that the party's always stood for. A stance that could hurt him most in the state primary race. Now, how all this manifests over the next few months, that's anybody's guess. But today's announcement ensures one thing specifically, the Maryland race for Senate just got a lot more interesting. In 2014, Hogan was elected governor of Maryland. In 2018, he became the first Republican governor to win a second term in Maryland in 50 years. According to a January 2023 Gonzalez poll statewide, 77% of people said they approved of the job that he had done as governor.